If you're new to print on demand, you may have heard of Vexels, but you may not really know what it is or how it works. So in this video, I'm going to really shine a deep dive light on Vexels. And if it's a good fit for you, I'm going to highlight some things inside of Vexels that I really like, and I'll go through the pricing as well so you can make a determination if it's a good fit for your print on demand journey. All right, as we jump into Vexels, I do want to point out the link I'm going to put in the video description below is an affiliate link. And what that means is that if you click on the link and you wind up buying something, I would receive a small commission. All right, so let's jump into Vexels here. On the left-hand side, you're going to see Vexels and then Merch and Design. I'm going to click the Merch button. And what that does is it really highlights print-on-demand, basically t-shirt designs. Could also be hoodies and phone cases and things like that. We've got a whole bunch of merch items. Now there's also KDP interior designs for coloring books as well. So there's these different little niches and there's coloring books and there's lots of different ways you can look at things. What I typically do is I don't actually go to the merch or the design option. The next one here is vector illustrations and design templates for commercial use in the design thing. I just pretty much click on the Vexels little logo on the top left hand side and then I just go up here to the top. There's these menu items along the top. Merch Ready Designs. That's pretty much what I jump into. And that gives us all of these merchandise designs. There's just hundreds and hundreds. There's actually 1,154 pages, and they're adding new designs all the time. So I'm just going to open up a few designs just at random here. Okay, so we've got Kung Fu Boy. So what this is, this design is on the left, and it just shows you a mock-up on the right. And if you scroll underneath it, because there's keywords, right, Kung Fu sports, there's a whole bunch of tags. As I scroll on down, we're going to see similar designs as well. So if you're searching for something and you think you're close, you don't have to settle. You can continue to look. I'm just going to type into the search window here, funny cat, and we can see here 346 funny cat designs come up as I scroll on through. And if I click one, for example, angry coffee cat, this has tags here at the top and they have similar designs underneath. So it's a really easy way for you to see a whole bunch of designs in a niche that you may want to take advantage of. You can also browse by niche. So instead of searching, you can go up to browse by, and then there's niches and topics, all sorts of different things. I'm just going to go here to niches first, and we can see as I scroll on down, there's culture, finance, tennis. I'm just going to pick tennis here because that's a pretty interesting little niche to drill down on. And we can see there's silhouette designs, text designs, clip art designs, professionally drawn designs. And then there's also vector illustrations as well. There's actually two pages here. On the second page, we can see there's some logos. So my point is, it's not only t-shirt designs that you get. You can create your own artwork based on the individual assets that are also provided on this website. Okay, so let me show you exactly what you can get when you download a design. I'm going to type in funny alien and I'm going to get back a whole bunch of different designs. And let's say, for example, I would like to download this one over here on the right hand side, alien space sheep t-shirt design. So I really like this design. Here we can see the mock-up on one side, the design on the other side. There's a download button right there on the bottom right. So I'm going to click the download button and we can see it just comes up as a zip folder and I can now save it in my folder here. So I'm going to click the save button and then that's it. It just goes into my downloads and then I can open it up inside the folder. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm in Windows Explorer and I've got my zip file. I'm just going to double click on the zip file to see what we actually have inside of it. So it's like Christmas morning here. Let's open it up. We've got an Affinity Designer file, a JPEG file, and a few PNG files, and also a PDF. I'm just going to pop open the PDF first. And that is actually the PDF file. So it's pretty high quality and you could use that if you just wanted to use the PDF. It's just kind of like a printout. There's also the Affinity Designer file. I'll open up that and inside of Affinity Designer, it's just asking me to load the page. And when I load the page now, I'm inside Affinity Designer and I can now modify this image if I wanted to. I'll close out of Affinity Designer. I've also got a JPEG file and a JPEG file in my windows just opens up in my little JPEG viewer. And we can see there the alien is looking pretty good. We've also got a PNG file and they're sized slightly different. You can see there there's a blank background. It's white, but it's a blank background. So you'd use this now as a PNG. So I'm just going to make that a bit bigger so you can see it. You can zoom in. You can see it's actually pretty high quality, pretty high res scan. 
And then there's also just a text document. And the text document just talks about, thank you for downloading. And it talks about the subscription plan. And I'm going to talk about that next. Okay, so first of all, if you don't want to sign up for a membership and you just want to use the designs, you actually can do that. You can basically use Vexels for free. So I'm going to type in dog. And I'm going to get back just this one here, this pug design. And you'll notice every single design you look at on Vexels has designed by Vexels on it. And if you don't purchase a membership, in other words, if you just log in with a free account, when you download the design, it'll actually say designed by Vexels. And so legally, they're saying you need to attribute this design. So this lady here has got it on a t-shirt. You could use it, but it would say designed by Vexels on the shirt. So I don't recommend that because the chances of someone buying that shirt is probably pretty low because they don't want to have a shirt that actually says designed by Vexels on the shirt. So if you're interested in getting a subscription or a membership, there's different types. There's the merch membership. And what that do, does, you can do annual or you can do monthly. So I'm just going to click on the monthly here to start. $29 US a month or annual, if you pay for a whole year, they just discount it by 25%. And that gets you 100 downloads. So what I did in the earlier example, you could do 100 times every single month. And you also get two design requests. So you could actually reach out to the Vexels team and you could say, hey, I'm looking for a penguin riding a skateboard while eating an ice cream cone. And they can make that design for you. And then they would put it in the inventory. So you'd have not exclusivity on the design, but you could get things specifically for you. You also get a t-shirt maker, a mock-up generator, and a logo maker. I'm actually gonna cover that right after the pricing here. The recommended plan, the merch plan, again, you can flip it to monthly or annual. This gets you 200 downloads, four design requests, and access. There's this merch ultimate as well. And then I'm gonna scroll down. There's actually lifetime memberships. This merch lifetime is a one-time payment of 690 US dollars, and that gets you the next 50 years, 60 years, 80 years, however long you're alive, you can have this now, and you can use this every single month. And again, I'll put the link in the video description below so that you can check out these memberships for yourself. Now, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm just gonna cover these off really quickly. There's a mock-up generator right here. So this lady's wearing a T-shirt, and what you can do is you can upload an image and it'll stick it right on the lady's shirt. And so you can use that as a mock-up generator. There's also a t-shirt maker where you can select images and then you can move them around on the t-shirt. And I'll go into more detail on this in another video. There's also an online logo creator that Vexels has where you type in your company name and it actually creates a logo for you. So I wanted to point this out that you don't just get t-shirt designs. If you sign up for a membership, you could also get access to the mock-up generator, the t-shirt maker, and the online logo maker. So it turns out to be pretty good value if you want to take your t-shirt designing skills to the next level. I really hope you found this video helpful. Vexels is not for everyone. It does cost money, and this is next level. So if you're a brand new person, I'd recommend checking them out in more detail and seeing if it's the right fit for you. If you have any questions, please do throw them down in the questions below. And if you have any comments, I always welcome those. Thanks again for watching everybody. And here's another video on how you can take your design skills to the next level in print on demand.